This is lesson number 13 and also the final lesson for this course. In this lesson, we're going to sharpen the image and do the finishing touches and then we'll be done. Alright, so the first step I'm going to do is sharpen the image and this step requires a flattened image of all layers so make sure you are happy with the positioning of everything otherwise you will have to redo this step every time you want to make a change to the image. So I'm going to make a copy merge of everything visible here and you can do that by selecting all layers, duplicating them, then hitting Ctrl E or you can make a stamp visible by hitting Ctrl Alt Shift E. So I'm going to make one right above the leaves group. I'll first hide the color correction group so it doesn't make a duplicate of it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you make a step visible for example here underneath the color correction group it will make a duplicate of it unless it's hidden and the image will look weird. So always make sure to hide the above layers or make a step visible at the very top then drag it to the bottom. Now I'll go to Filter, Other, High Pass. Then choose a relatively low radius like 1.5 pixels because if you start adding more than that you will start seeing a nasty halo around everything. We're still seeing a little bit of the halo even at 1 pixel radius but that will not be noticeable only at 100% view and we will not be showing that in the first place. Now I'm going to change the blending mode at one of these four, either overlay, soft light, vivid light or linear light. I'll choose linear light because it gives me the best results, but as you can see the halo is still showing at the edge of every object. You can always reduce the opacity if it's too strong, but I'm not going to do that. Instead, I'm going to invert the layer mask and start revealing it with a white brush and a low flow right here at the bottle and every object that is in focus. You can see how much detail sharpening brings to the image. Now I'm going to reveal it on the back slices that are in focus. Now using a low flow I'm going to start painting at the center of the slices and make sure not to paint on the edge to not show the halo and if you did that you can always switch to black and hide it.
okay so this is how the mask is looking we revealed the sharpening only on the center and the back slices that are in focus in the first place the rest are out of focus and don't need sharpening because we want to bring attention to the main object now i'll group this layer and call it sharpening the next thing i want to do is fix this blue fringing on this slice I'm going to find its layer and add a new layer and clip it Then I'll start removing it using the clone stem tool by sampling from the inside and painting at the edge. Now I'll add another curves adjustment layer and reduce the blues quite a bit. And maybe add a little bit of red. And now I will invert the layer mask and start revealing it here at this edge. Alright, now I want to add a little bit of glow to the image by adding some floating sparkles to the scene. So I'll add a new layer at the very top. And then choose a small soft brush, about 19 pixels, then I'll start painting and adding dots randomly. Now I'll change the blending mode to overlay. Next I will add another layer and start doing the same thing but this time with a bigger brush. Alright now I'll add another layer and do it one last time again with a bigger brush to add some variation in size. Now I will call this group sparkles. And the last step for this lesson and the final touch to add to the image is adding some light leaks that comes from the glow of the bottle and between the gaps of the peel. So I will create another layer and then take the pen tool and start creating paths from the edge of the bottle and between the peel to the end of the canvas. Once you are done, choose the direct selection tool, hold shift and select them all, then right click, make selection and fill the selection with white.
Now change the blending mode to divide. Now we will add blur to this, but first I'll convert it to smart object. Then go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and add about 12 pixel blur. Now I will add a layer mask and hide it from the front slices and leaves and any place that is already bright. Alright, that was the last step in this lesson and with that done, our image is officially complete. You still have one more video to watch and that is the conclusion, so I'll see you there.